hello all we have already seen the videos based on vapor compression cycle for your information i am sharing this video for the basics of refrigeration system we all know that due to global warming the harmful effects of the environment the temperature of the earth surface is increasing day by day the average temperature in 2005 in india or in asian subcontinent was around 30 degree celsius in 2015 that is 10 years after 2005 the average temperature reached about 32 degree celsius and this average temperature is going to increase day by day so the refrigeration and air conditioning field has got a tremendous response and importance and has great impetus on the environment each and every human being is now prone for refrigeration and air conditioning processes the major applications of refrigeration are first in pharmaceutical fields where we have to store the blood and blood cells second in food processing industries nowadays we see that there is a lot of food made and so for the processing of the food products we require refrigeration and air conditioning at the same time there are numerous applications of refrigeration system some applications of air conditioning are for storage of dead bodies then for uh, the application of human comfort nowadays human comfort is playing a very very important role and this human comfort is based on the temperature requirement there are four parameters which are based for the human comfort that is the motion of air purity of air temperature of air and motion control of air so uh, actually while uh, studying uh, refrigeration and air conditioning we have to take a look at all the parameters first the parameters uh, which we are going to learn is first is unit of refrigeration uh, in how systems the refrigeration unit is measured so i would like to tell you that the refrigeration systems are categorized or they are available in capacity in tons of refrigeration so 1 ton of refrigeration is 3.5 kilowatt it is based on the amount of heat extracted from 1 kg of water to form 1 kg of ice in 24 hours at 0 degree celsius so mostly the equation for calculating the heat removed from the system is mcp delta t so the basics of refrigeration are based on two cycles uh, the refrigeration can be done in two ways like using a compressor so it is known as vapor compression refrigeration system and while using a generator absorber system it is known as vapor absorption refrigeration system the cop in both the systems may be different the components used in both the systems may be different but the way in which the refrigeration is carried out is same mostly in vapor compression system we are having a compressor condenser expansion device and evaporator and in vapor absorption system we are eliminating compressor and we are introducing a new component known as absorber generator rectifier and analyzer so therefore uh, these two refrigeration systems can be used for the producing refrigeration effect because while calculating cop now in machines we calculate efficiency but mostly in refrigeration systems we find the cop of the system that is coefficient of performance so in general coefficient of performance is calculated by refrigeration effect to the work done so it is the ratio of refrigeration effect to work done so basically uh, refrigeration effect is produced in evaporator because evaporator is the part which is present in the refrigeration system or it is in contact with the food products out of which the heat is to be extracted and compressor work done is the produced when the compressor is in actual use so in this way the coefficient of performance is uh, calculated there are two types of coefficient of performance 
theoretical coefficient of performance and actual coefficient of performance so mostly theoretical values will be always higher because we consider it as an ideal stage and actual cop values are lower and they are pra calculated practically theoretical cops may be found out from plotting the ph chart we have to take the temperatures four temperatures of the four components and we have to plot it on the ph chart and this ph chart will give us the value of <coughs> theoretical cop thank you